Could the future of AI be physical? If you watched any of the humanoid robot games in Beijing this summer, you probably think not. They're powered by artificial intelligence. They can box, or can they? I don't know. They can run. This is a robot lighting the torch. Or... AI-powered robots stumble and fall. They look awkward right now. But they're coming faster than you think. We're living through an AI explosion. First came generative tools like ChatGPT, which creates text images or snippets of code seemingly out of thin air. Then came agentic AI, which doesn't just respond to prompts, but takes initiative and performs tasks like a digital employee. The next phase is physical AI, where algorithms meet hardware. Machines that don't just process information, but sense, move, and manipulate the world around us. To transform our world, experts are starting to believe AI needs to truly become part of it. NVIDIA's Jensen Huang declared in January that the next frontier of AI is physical. The chat GPT moment for general robotics is just around the corner. This will be the largest technology industry the world's ever seen. The technology is, of course, accelerating. Sensors are cheaper, batteries last longer. AI models can train robots on multiple tasks, even grasp physics. And big tech is all in. Venture capitalists are pouring billions into robotics startups. Google's DeepMind launched Gemini Robotics to help machines adapt to new environments. OpenAI is hiring roboticists and filed trademarks for robots and AR glasses. And Tesla is building Optimus, a robot that Elon Musk swears will soon be folding your laundry. I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Yeah. But right now, it's China that's actually winning the robot race. Already home to more robots than the rest of the world combined, its humanoid market is projected to top 10 billion by 2029. Whoever dominates, the payoff will be big. Autonomous machines will transform industries based on human labor, transportation, logistics, healthcare, and domestic care. In aging societies like Japan, Germany, and South Korea, they could help offset labor shortages. Morgan Stanley estimates humanoid robots could be a $5 trillion industry by 2050. That's the promise. The reality is harder. An AI robot may understand the instruction to make an omelet, but can it crack an egg without getting yolk all over your kitchen? Dexterity, and intuition, and common sense are much more challenging to program than text prediction. There are, of course, also issues like safety. A robot can malfunction, can lose power. Technology, advanced systems still need remote human operators, at least for now, and privacy. Robot assistants with cameras and microphones need to feel safe, but not invasive. And of course, there's the economy. What happens to the workers the machines replace? Do tax robots to fund the safety nets? Do unions negotiate with AI labor? So yes, physical AI is coming. The technology is maturing. The money's flowing. The incentives are coming too. But making the transformation responsibly requires more than just algorithms. Engineers are going to need to build safeguards. Companies need safety protocols. Governments need regulation. The trajectory is obvious. The challenge isn't whether AI becomes part of our world, it's how we choose to live with it. <laughs>